Hello everybody, how are you today? Is it okay if I give you a rhyme before I start my speech? Alright, there is a mouse climbing up the tree. Mouse fights with conch. My sweet greetings I give as the opening of my speech. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The honorable judges and all the audience. First of all, Let's thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because until now we can still use and utilize technology. But before that, let me introduce my name is Rudo Hilmi Abidin from Al Muslim Junior High School East Java. And today I'm gonna deliver my speech entitled Born to be Digital How You Should Use Technology Wisely. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for all of you. How many hours do you use your gadgets? Of course, in one day, we can't be separated from our gadgets because now we have entered an era where everything we do can be done easily and quickly through the electronic media and internet. One of the users of today's technology is Generation Z. By the way, do you know who is Generation Z? All right, let me tell you. Generation Z is a generation who was born between 1997-1995 until 2010. They are generations that live in an era of technological sophistication so that they are more up to date with news that spread on the internet. Generation Z is also known as the internet generations because they are always connected to the virtual world and can do everything using the existing of technological sophistication. Ladies and gentlemen, technology has a big role in influencing the future of Generation Z with a role that technology will inspire and create different versions of themselves but in a way that is more efficient and saves them time. In another word, Generation Z has a high possibility of influencing society with their share in the world of technology and information. Some of them have the desire to become influencers, such as becoming YouTubers or becoming gamers, ideals that were unthinkable by generations before Generation Z. Ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of today's technological sophistication, there are many young generations who can't be spirited from technology. Some of them use it to find information or news, watching movies, playing games, and create content or vlogs. But behind all that, there are positive impacts and also negative impacts on the use of technology for a generation Z. Here are the positive impacts of technology for a generation Z. The first, it can develop creativity. The second, hobby can be a source of income. The third, the opportunity for success is wide open. The fourth, the job opportunities are getting wider. And the last is free to innovate. While the negative impacts of technology for Generation Z are the first, loss of communication skills. The second, pornography. The third, decrease the learning achievement. The fourth, damage to the eyes. And the last is the rapid spread of hoax news. Ladies and gentlemen, now my question is, what is the role of Generation Z to use technology wisely? As generations who live in the digital era, we must be clever at managing the use of technology so that it will not cause a negative impact on its use. Here are the roles of Generation Z to use technology wisely. The first, use it for positive things. The first way to use today's technology is to use technology for, for positive things related to work and communication. We should reduce the use of technology for negative things such as criticizing others through social media or for crime. Albert Einstein said, the human spirit must prevail over technology. The second, use it at an appropriate time. With the rapid development of technology, so it doesn't mean you can get all your work done by utilizing technological sophistication. At work, use technology according to your work needs. If avoid using technology for unrelated things because it will make your work neglected. 
The third, use as needed. The sophistication of technology is indeed appropriate to use in everyday life. However, it is good if you use today's technology according to your needs. If it's not really needed, you shouldn't use the advanced technology equipment so that it is not waste. And the last is reducing the impact on the body. It is undeniable. With the development of technology, various sophisticated equipment is also offered. However, you need to be vigilant and pay attention to how to use the right technology. Limit the use of technology, of technology so as not to have a bad impact on your own health, as well as sophisticated mobile phones that are now widely over to turn out to have radiation that is very dangerous for the brain when placed near the head when sleeping. Therefore, you should pay attention to how to use it correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for my speech that I can convey. I'm sorry for any mistakes that are pleasing your heart. Hopefully, my speech it can be useful for all of you. Going to the mountain on Sunday. Don't before going, don't forget to pray subuh. That's all for my speech today. The last I say, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.